So in this workshop, we're going to have a look at the Machina Jam Lock feature. And what this does is it allows you to create up to 64 snapshots, each containing every modulatable parameter in your project. So that's things like levels, solo and mute assignments, and so on. And once you've created these, you can switch between them instantly or use the morphing lock feature to morph between them uh, synchronized to the tempo of your project. So it's a really cool way to uh, try out different mixes, but also it's a good performance tool. Now, let's get started. Um, here is my project. So if I want to create a snapshot of these parameters, I can just press the lock button. Okay, and then I'm also going to need to save my project. And the reason I have to save my project is that that then allows the software to store all the different snapshots. Otherwise, I'm not able to flip between them. So now that I've stored a lock state, if I press shift and lock, I can go into my lock screen, my lock view. And you can see that this button up here shows me that I have saved a lock state. Now, if I wanted to save a second lock state, what I could do is I could select a second slot like that, come out of this, and I could then, for instance, change my levels. I'll go into my lock states, change the levels, press and hold the lock button, and this blinking here shows me that I've updated my lock state. One of the cool things that you can do is morphing between snapshots. And the way this works is if I press uh, shift and lock, I then get on my screen, I get the ability to morph between different lock states and I can switch that on and off using this uh, jog dial here. So at the moment, what you can see is I've got morphing set to on and it's set to travel over the space of one bar. So if I come out of that, what you'll see now is if I jump back to my first lock state, if I play and after playing back, I will switch to my second lock state, but instead of jumping like it just did, what it's gonna do is it's gonna transition those faders which have to change down over the space of one bar. So if I play it, There goes my fader, and the same if I go back up to my first lock state. So I could, for example, if I wanted to create a third state, I could, I could jump to my third slot there and then I could bring this level back up, but I could bring all these down, for example. So now, when I play, and you should find that it now morphs back to state two. There are other options, of course, for morphing. I can, if I go to my travel mode, so travel mode morphs the selected snapshots without syncing to the grid. So the morph will begin instantly instead of waiting uh, until the next bar begins. And the time of that morph is of course set then using the bar selector here. So you can morph anywhere from half a bar all the way up to 16 bars. If you switch it into bar and grid mode, the duration of the morph lasts for the amount of bars that you set here. So I could set it all the way from an eighth all the way up to a full bar. So that's just a really cool quick example of how you can work with snapshot morphing in Machina Jam.